Mark Maroney's friend owns what used to be the Pronto Pup near the grandstand. I got out here as quick as I could. Less than two weeks before the fair, this is not the prep work they had planned on. We just took out debris that when we ride it that isn't going to break other things. The early morning storm left a visible mark on the landscape. Down trees, broken glass, and damaged buildings must all be fixed and fast. All of our contractors are here, our carpenters, our plumbers, our electricians, so really all hands on deck. Everybody's, you know, in and moving and, and getting things cleaned up. I didn't really honestly think that it would be this significant, but uh, it is pretty significant. Dan Runyon owns Juanita's Fajitas. I won't be using this booth. He thought he was getting a jump start this year. Just put my booth up yesterday and bolted it all together and then went home for dinner. <laughs> Dan says it's best to laugh, otherwise he might cry. But don't think that this will set him back. We'll be up, we'll be selling fajitas, and we'll be here for the fair. That sentiment seems to be echoed here. This show will go on. We will be ready on August 23rd. Apparently, not even Mother Nature will stop you from getting stuff on a stick this summer. And vendors were notified by phone today if there was any damage to their booths. However, it will be several days before those vendors and the State Fair employees will be able to clean up the damage that has been left here. Rick and Amy. All right, Rena, thank you.